let's, let's see some properties of this algorithm. Say property. Property number one. If I have a real number a greater than zero, a is not equal to one. Then x1 equal to x2 this will imply log base a x1 is equal to log base a x2 this means that if I have two real numbers which is equal then if I take the log of the two real numbers on both sides with respect to the same base here a then we get the same value and the converse is true that is n conversely what is it means that that is if log of a number with respect to some base a equal to log of another number with respect to some base a then this will also give me that the two numbers are same. It is a very important property. We will be using it through. Next, the second property it says that if a is strictly greater than 1, it is a real number, then if I take any two numbers x1 greater than x2, then the log of x1 with respect to the base a is strictly greater than log of a x2. Another property says that, number third property, if small a lies between 0 and 1, that is if small a is a fraction, then x1 greater than x2, this will imply that if I take a log of a, the things will reverse. So, coming to the next property, number 4. So, to understand this fourth property, let us look at this diagram. So, this is an xy axis. So, this, I have drawn a graph. This graph is nothing but the y equal to log a e x graph. So, so this log x graph, so it says that if I and this whole graph is for a lies between 0 and 1. So, if uh, a lies between 0 and 1 and if I take this x exists to be less than 1, that means this portion this portion then I can clearly see that this part of the graph this above the y axis that is this is greater than 0 again for the same condition 0 less than a less than 1 if I take x is greater than 1 that means for this real portion I see that my curve is below the y axis that is the graph is negative the same thing if I replace this condition by a is strictly greater than 1 and if I replace this by a is strictly greater than 1 then we get this curve down here this is also nothing but y equal to log base a x curve so what it says if a is greater than 1 and x is less than 1 that means for this region my curve is below y axis that means this will be negative for this case for the second case if x is greater than 1 that means for this region we see that the curve is above the y axis that means this positive that means this will be positive so I want to add two more properties important properties say so let's keep it as a note from the indecision search chapter we know that if I take any real number a and if we take its power to be zero then we get the answer to be 1. So if I apply the logarithmic rule here, what I get? 
This will imply zero will be equal to log base a one. So this is a very important result, which says that log of any number with respect to whatever base you take, log of sorry log of one with respect to whatever base you take, will get an answer to be zero. Second. Again, we know that if we take any real number in raised to power by one, then we get the same number. So if I apply log here, I get one is equal to log of a with respect to base k. So another important result: it says that if I take log of any number with respect to the same base as the number, then the result is one. Now next point, let's see some laws of logarithm. The first law says, if I take log of product of two numbers m n with some base a, then we get log base a m plus log base a n. And by definition of log, this a is strictly greater than zero, and this a should not be equal to one. And this m and n, these two numbers should be strictly greater than zero. And a, m, n are all real numbers. So the proof is very simple. Let's prove it. So let log. Base a m equal to say x. Let log n base a is equal to say y. Then by the property of log, I can write this as a to the power x equal to m. I can write this as a to the power y equal to n. Next. What will be the product? The product will be m into n will be a to the power x into a to the power y. By the property of indices, I can write this since the base are same a to the power x plus y. Now let me erase this portion. So what we get? We are getting we are getting m into n equal to a raised to the power x plus y. So if I take the log of this, what will I get? I will get log m into n base a equal to x plus y. What is this x? Let's replace it. Log a m log n base a. So this is nothing but our right hand side. So this is the proof of the first law. And this is a very important law. You should always keep in mind. Next, coming to the second law. This is log base a m by n. This is equal to log base a m minus log base a n. So again, same. This a should be. Greater than zero, m n greater than zero. So here also, the proof is very simple. So if I consider let log of m equal to x, log of n a equal to y, and this will give me a to the power x equal to m. 
a raised to the power y equal to n. So if I take m by n, this will give me a x divided by a to the power y. This is nothing but a to the power x minus y by inverse results. So this will become log a equal to x minus y is nothing but log a m minus log a m. Similarly, the next law says, let me just write down the next law, says that log of some number say m to the power say some p with base a this will be p log a m it means that if I take log of some number whose which has a power then the power will be multiplied the resultant the power will multiply the p is here you see p is raised to the power m here if I take log of this number the p comes as a multiplication so let's see the next law number 4 it says that log of b with base c I can write this as log of b base a log of c base a so that means uh, if I have a log of some number with respect to some base, we can split this into numerator and denominator by taking help of some other base. Next, log of m to the power p and the base is also having some power small a to the power r. Then this says that this p and r will come outside and it will, we will be left with log of simply a and m. The last law says this is a very important law which says that log of some number b with base a is equal to if I take the reciprocal the base and the number changes. That means here it was log of b with base a and here it is log of a the base comes up and the number goes as a base. So from here we can extract we can say that log of b with base a product log of a b is equal to 1. This is a very important law. Now let us take some problems. So the first problem, find the values of log of 6 with base 6. It is very simple. From our earlier properties, we know that if I have a number and if the base is the same number, then this, the value will be 1, this will be 1 so this is 1 now this, number 2 log then base 100 now directly we cannot do anything to this 10 but what we can do, since the base is 100 let us change the 10 convert the 10 in terms of 100 so how can we do it? So I can write 10 as 100 square root. So this if I write, this is nothing but 100 to the power square root is this. Now I have a number 100. Its base is 100. Next, what will I do? By using our second law. It's, uh, it says that, uh, third law, it says that if I have a number whose power is something and if I have the same base, then the power is multiplied. So this will be multiplied here, so it will be base 100 and 100. Again, if I have a number and if I take log with respect to the same number as a base, then this will be 1, so this will be half into 1. Answer will be 
up. Now moving on to the next problem. It's a little different one. Here we are asked to find the value of x, variable x. Here, where is the variable in the first question? The variable is nothing but the base. So log of 16 x equal to 2. Now if I break it in exponential form, then this will give me 16 equal to 2 to the power x. Now, what is this 16? I can write this as 2 to the power 4 is 2 to the power x. Now by exponential form, I can say that this x is equal to 4. The next problem, it says log 10 0 0.01 equal to x. I have to find the value of this x. Now with the property of logarithm, I can say that this is nothing but 0 0.01 equal to 10 to the power x. Now what will be the value of x? Such that if I take the 10 x to the power 10, I will get 0 0.01. It is very simple. Let us convert this in terms of 10. This I can write in a form 1 by 100. Or I can shorten it. I can write 10 square. This is 10 to the power x. So 10 square in the next line, I can write this as 10 to the power minus 2. Again, by indicing search, since the base are same, I can write that the power should be same. So in this way, we can find the value of x for such type of questions. So next, let us do one more problem, very interesting problem. So, what we say is, we can prove that log 1 by a of x is equal to log a 1 by x. So here, solution. So let's take the left hand side that log of x1 by a this is equal to say y then by the property of log we know that x will be equal to 1 by a this power y this I can write x equal to x to power y So this, I can change the size and I can write a to the power y equal to 1 by x. Now if I change this in the logarithmic form again, what will be its form? This will be y equal to log of base a 1 by x. So this is my left hand side. I have shown that this left hand side y is equal to this which is nothing but our right hand side and screw. So coming to the next problem, let's say it's find the sum of log of root 6 with base 2 and log of root over 2 by 3 with base 2. So if I write this, I can say that this is nothing but log of base 2 with over 6 plus log of 2 now just now we have done the laws of logarithm the first law it says that if I have product of 2 take the log of product of 2 real numbers then I get their sum of the logs of them so here it is given in terms of sum so I can compress it and write it in this way put over 6 into by 3 
Now, this one, if I combine it, what will be this? This will be log of base 2. There is nothing but if I cancel it, this will be root over 4, which is nothing but 2. So, what we get? This is log of some number with respect to the same number as a base, then the answer will be 1. So, this is the answer for first problem. The next problem this is a very interesting one. It says that a to the power log of b with base x is equal to b to the power log of a with base x. So, this problem will help us understand this chapter in a very deep way. So, let us start. Let us take this left hand side a log b with base x is y then this is power so what will happen this will be log of b x equal to a to the power y sorry this will be log of a y So, this I can write as log of x b y by log of a y. So, This will give me uh, okay. lot of XP. If I change the reciprocal, I will get this one. Here, I want to find log a. So, if I can, I write this as this way a x. Again, this property we have already seen before. This is y x. That means I have split. This law in numerators and denominators by with the help of some other variable base x. So this if I on the left hand side will be this log b x. Now this will be if I change the size, this will be log of this y this will be log a with base x and this will be log b I have just changed the size cross multiplication next let me write the same here if I take this number in the denominator in the numerator what will I get left hand side remains same this is log y with base x this will become log if I bring this in numerator the base and the number will change so this will be log of b base x and log of x base a so here I want to find the value of y here one more thing I can write here if I consider this as a number, then I can write this as log of a x 
raise to the power log of b x and the left hand side will be log of y base x. So from our first property in today's class, we can say that y if log of something is equal to log of another thing with the same base, then I can say that the numbers are same. So this is y equal to a log b x. So this is nothing but so this so we have got y as this, which is nothing but our right hand side. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, yeah, come, yeah, Jai Hind.